Hello there, I'm back again like I never left. Welcome to 2023. How are you doing? Thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new here, hey, hi, welcome. My name is Lillian and this is Lily Ogini. If you are a returning subscriber, hi guys, hi darling. Thank you for clicking. Welcome to 2023. Compliment of the season to you all. I wish you a beautiful year. 2023 so guys there have been a couple of events here in accra ghana precisely okay let's say around the country in ghana there was the christmas carnival in takrade which i happened to attend it was beautiful and then there were other events here and there but then the notable among them were of course after the christmas party in takrade was afro chela here in Accra, Ghana. Afro Nation event also took place here in Accra, Ghana. And guys, I'm here to talk about it. You know, there were a couple of artists from all around the world here, present here in Accra, Ghana. As we speak, as you're looking at me, I'm looking at you, you're looking at me, and you're wondering how. Maybe you're someone like me that. If you didn't know that, it's because it's fine. It's because you're someone like me, okay? Bona Boys, the likes of RF Star, the likes of, of course, Whiskey, the likes of Asake Music, a lot of them, P Square, and the rest, Tiwa Savage. Everybody you can think of were present here in Accra, Ghana. So something happened. So the American musician that came into town by name Mac meal you know he enjoyed ghana so much and he was tweeting every time you go on the on, on social media you hear oh, ah, the next thing you know instant block where we're posting a lot about this guy being in ghana and enjoying life in ghana you know how he vowed to buy a house here uh, we're seeing clips of him riding power bikes and uh, stuff just basically enjoying his time in ghana and he vowed to buy and own an apartment here in Accra, Ghana, so that he can always come back to Ghana. That he wants that connection. He want he want that feeling. He want a taste of Ghana, basically forever. Blushing, and I was blushing not because I'm going to benefit anything from it, but because this guy has yet again proven me right. When I say Ghana is addictive, I have said that many times on here that if you come to Ghana, you will be, if you have money, please, you will want to remain here. Because I don't know why the country is kind of addictive, especially during that December period, if you are the out and about type of person, if you like to remain, you know, if you like to bamba, December in Ghana is lit there is nothing you can like every corner you go is a party every day is a party you will see people party from morning to morning here in ghana and you know everybody moving around and just being careless and just doing what they love and feel safe and secure but then after this guy have bragged about you know after he has you know talked about how he loved Ghana, how he intended to remain here, intended to buy apartments. All of a sudden, I saw a tweet again on Instant Blog Ninja reporting that McMill lost his phone. He had his phone stolen, rather not lost. You know there's difference between misplacing something and then having it stolen from you. So in this case, this guy had his phone stolen from him. I was disappointed, I was hot. This is not the Ghana I know, please so. Oh, this is not the Ghana I've been talking about in my videos, Jale. But myself, I have lost a phone and even more. I've lost more than a phone in Ghana here. It's very common to see people steal your phone. It's very common to see guys snatch your phone from you and take off. So when you are in Ghana, shine your eyes, especially in Accra. So, but then I didn't expect that to happen to someone like that, of that caliber, who has all the security personnel, all the bodyguards, all, all, that, all the necessary people to guard him. I didn't expect that to happen to him, but it did happen. But guess what? 
the real star of the day stepped in and changed the game. The real star of the day are the Ghanaian police service. Take a plate, sas, ma'am. Take a plate. You're actually the best. They made me so proud that I have at some point made a video commending them, you know, appreciating them, praising them, and acknowledging how good they are doing. And you know, telling the world about the beautiful uh, way the Ghanaian police save its citizen, protect life here. They did not disappoint me. I remember getting backlash, you know, last year after making that video. Oh, the Ghanaian police are this, they are that. I said, okay, you are free to hear your opinion. But then again, this year they came true. Mm? This year they came through again and proved me right and proved everybody wrong. Those that doubted that video, they proved them wrong. And it's only fair for me to come back here and, you know, remind you guys that the Ghanaian police are actually the best right now. Almost everywhere in the world. I, uh, you know, uh, when that happened, there were different blocks. I, I knew that the Ghanaian police are not going to sit down and uh, watch a guy disgrace the whole country, especially internationally. I know Ghana police is not going to sit down and allow anybody mm, bring them disgraced. But then I didn't know how fast, how soon they were going to act. Luckily for me, I went back on Eastern Block when I have time, like from time to time, you know now, when you're pressing your phone, you're always everywhere. So I went back on Eastern Block and I saw where um, they said he has gotten his phone back, that the Ghanaian police have been able to arrest the guy that stole his phone and got it back for him. And no choice his phone, they had other 400 mobile phones that were stolen at the Afrochella and Afro Nation event here in Accra, Ghana. They had it all recovered at a place somewhere, no, you know, at a place, they had it all recovered at a place somewhere in a guy's house who is into selling of mobile phone you know all these phones were stolen and given to him to resell for them so whoever stole it even maybe it's himself or friends or business associate that stole the phones and brought it for him to resell so that they can share the money so good enough Ghanaian police were able to track that guy down and recover all the phone the only thing you needed to do the only thing people needed to do was for them to go there and identify go to the police station identify your phone and go home with it just like that just like that please don't don't argue with me i say they are the best in the world i know why hold on i'm gonna get to that point you know recently between the month of december Hold on, not December, between the month of October stroke, December of 2022, we have had a lot of our Nigerian celebrities, especially the ladies like Toke Makiwa and Lilian Afwebu. I think I pronounced that name correctly. Please don't pretend not to know how, okay? And then, and then Damilola Agbete, they had their phone stolen from them in London. Guys, when I say stolen from there, it's not like they dropped it and the guy just pickly, pickly, pickly went to pick it. They snatched it from their hands. They robbed them. Fine. They were robbed in the UK. So, and in all of these cases, there were no reports that they got their phones back or their properties that were stolen from them back. They never got it back. Lillian, in her case, was stranded and... You know, they are celeb now. They know what to do and how to maneuver their way and get out of that shit. She was almost stranded in London because she got robbed in London. Nothing was recovered of all the three cases. So in Ghana, the Ghanaian police were able to track the guy down and recover all the phones that were stolen. Not just the American musician's phone, all the phones that were stolen during that period were all recovered and handed back to their owners. As long as you are able to identify your phone, you get your phone back. So now, are we all going to sit down and pretend that we don't know they are doing a great job? 
that is not even all. I went back on the internet and I saw a video of a white guy making a video commending the Nigeria, um, making a video commending the Ghanaian police of their effort. He really appreciates them. He said they are the best in the world. And at the comment section, I could see comments like, how can you say Ghanaian police are the best? Some Ghanaians were laughing, say, hey, you don't know our police. You don't know how they are. They are not the best. They are these, stop um, hyping, stop over overrating. Our police service, they are not, these are not. Hey, I'm like, okay, I know why. You know, you don't know what you have until it's gone, right? <laughs> you don't know what you have until it's gone. Like, you don't know what you have until it is so gone. There are cases of policemen killing citizens. He, right there in my country, yeah, in Lagos, Nigeria, on the, on the 25th of December, a pregnant woman who was pregnant at that time with twins, a lawyer, was shot and killed. What exactly was her crime? Nothing. Do you understand what I mean? That is a police that was supposed to protect the people. You hear cases of the other young guy that was killed around November of 2022 in Lagos, Nigeria. You hear cases of police brutality. Police did this, police did this, and the citizen trying to fight back, you know, trying to protect themselves from those that have been paid, that have taken an oath to protect them. God, they are coming for your life. You have to fight to keep that life. How do you do that? So when we look at all these things, that is why they say the Ghanaian police are the best. We are not saying they are the best just so that you guys can feel good, okay? No, it's not like that. It is because of, you know, when you analyze things, okay, now look at the cases of the Nigerian celebrities in London that lost their properties, that were robbed at, you know, that were, had, they had their properties, their phones snatched away from them. None of them came back to say, none of them ever said they recovered the phone. They didn't. They did not. Re none of them were able to get their phones back. So when things like this are happening, you have no other choice except you are biased about it. If not, you have no other choice but to come out here and, you know, thank them for a well done job. Thank them. <laughs> McMill has proven me 100% right in terms of a lot of things like him loving Ghana, how he feel in Ghana, how, you know, a lot of the black people keep coming back to Ghana. It is because of the connection that the country has with them once they get here. There's a way Ghana makes you feel when you come here as a non-Ghanaian. Uh, for me, the very first time I came to Ghana, I was a small girl. I've told you guys before, right? Before this new currency, I was in Ghana then, and there was a, the way, there was a way I felt then. The Ghana of that time and now, they are not the same, okay? A lot of things have happened, um, a lot of things have happened in the new Ghana, a lot of development have happened. Ghana have earned more respect. Ghana have gone from almost nowhere to being here. They have come a long way, like that big inspiration. I used to say a prayer, like sometimes, I used to say this, God, please make me like Ghana, where everybody is looking down on me thinking that I'm still that same old me. I've got nothing to offer. I have nothing in my name. While those that come closer to me should be shocked that, oh my God, wow, we didn't know you are like this. I used to pray like that. That is how Ghana is. When you are out there, you wouldn't know much about her because there's really nothing much you know, at that time but when you get here, you will realize that, oh, wow, okay. For them to say, oh, Lily, they said you are a bitter person. How come you are this sweet? Oh, Lily, they said you don't have money. How come you eat so well and you're living fine? You don't make noise. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm talking about. So Ghana police are the real star of 2023. They have yet again proven that they are worthy of the trust they are worthy to look after their citizens they are worthy they are ready to protect the reputation of ghana both home and abroad 
I was really concerned and I was like, okay, this guy that did this thing, I am thinking what the Ghanaian police are going to do to him because this is a battle of, it's not going to be because he stole a phone. Or, this guy has a lot of questions to answer, a lot of case to answer because now a case of trying to ruin the country image. They want to, you want to ruin the image of the country. He stole a property. He, he caused trauma. He caused a uh, panic. <laughs> hey, I feel for that guy. I wish I'm a journalist and I work with a media house. By now, I would have just driven down there. I would have just find my way down to one of the police station where that guy is, search for him and see and follow up the case. But you know what? If I go there, they'll ask me, show us your ID card. Hello, I work with YouTube. Who know YouTube? Nobody except us, me and you. So yeah, I would have loved to follow this guy's case so that I can bring it to the world to see. So they tell you the Ghanaian police are the best in the world. Take it. Take it like that because people are reporting according to the analysis, you know, all over Africa like that is happening. Things are happening around. You know, I'm not saying they don't take bribe or I don't know them to that point. Of course, I've not had any dealings with them to say, oh, they are corrupt. I've not had like a one-on-one -on -one dealing with the Ghanaian police to say, oh, they are corrupt. Uh, they are not. They are this. They are that. No. But from all we are seeing, all the way they, the way they act, discipline anybody regardless of your status in the society is why we say they are the best. Remember the case of Chatawale where Chata in 2021 tweeted that he got shot <laughs> hey you know what the Ghanaian police did then they went straight to his house he was not there so of course someone that got shot right they were not expecting to find him in his house <laughs> so they went where they had that when he made that tweet normally you just disregard it in some countries they'll say social media that's their own social media no don't come and tweet. There are pranks I want to do in Ghana. I cannot do because they will arrest me and there is nothing I can do about it. So, and I don't want to be arrested. So when Chatawale tweeted uh, that he got shot, the Ghanaian police went from hospital to hospital, clinic to clinics, health center to health center, medical center to medical center. In Ghana, they know the difference, just in case you don't know that to search for this guy and when they didn't find him they went to his house he was not there they declared him wanted hey i'm talking about chatawali here he is is so big he's as big as davido in nigeria he's as big as whiskey bona boy in nigeria like that is their own version like he's a version of davido in ghana do you understand that is how big he is for them here in ghana but you know what the ghanaian police didn't care about that they wanted this guy to pay for his nonsense and they for tweeting just told for tweeting oh because a lot of, um you know why they did that they don't want that you don't make such jokes in ghana so how much more someone that stole a phone stole a phone of an international artist who is very vocal who is like me he lost the country. He said he lost the country. And the country robbed him. He came through. We are like that. I'm, I'm, like, I'm like that guy. <laughs> so, you know, there are people like that, that we, some of us, we are very vocal. Like, it's good. Yes, it's good. It's not good. It's not good. It doesn't matter. So that guy is like that. And the Ghanaian police. But the Ghanaian police came through and saved the situation. I'm so proud of them. So, yeah. So, today... We should all respect our police and encourage them to continue to do their job, okay? So, thank you, Ghana police. Thank you, okay? Thank you. Keep up the good job. If I fucked up, don't spare me, of course. Why would they? Who are you? If they didn't spare Shatawali, who would they spare? So, yeah, keep up the good job, guys. Thank you so much, and um, I will see you in my next video.